Rutgers. Uh, Creative Jewel by lot. Emily. Okay, I got. I can link it to mine, Mary's. Uh, correct. Emily's. Uh, yeah, you can link it to to all of them. Like I just can't switch. If I try and switch um, from section to section, I'm gonna go dead. And yes, we're going live right now. We are live, and everybody okay. here. Yes, I am going inside to my okay, so, crash day. And okay, give me I, a minute, ladies and gentlemen. I am switching to. I'm opening the chat on my YouTube. Yes, and I am posted in oh, in hi. my group. Oh yeah, yeah. Post posted in Katrine's as well. Sorry, Katrine. I was thinking. I wasn't thinking about that. So as soon as you go, um, um, what do you want me to say in it? <laughs> uh, just say uh, textured cover album. I, I posted a link earlier in your um, in your group. Just okay, relink that with the actual video with the actual video that we're doing now. There we go. I see it. Okay, I'm opening chat now. Hi, anybody. If they're, you're in here, hello. Oh, hi, Kathy. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just put it in beginning crafter friends. All right, got it in my group. Posting it in Emily's group. Okay, so I have. I'm. I'm seeing the chat now, so I'm good. Yes, you are good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, you know what? It is so fun with all this electronic, you know. <laughs> You're I'm not sure the brain. Fun. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know about the fun part, but. <laughs> there we go. Now, now, now you see my, my, my screen and not my freaking cigarettes. <laughs> 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 okay, and I need a coffee yeah. and mine's almost dead. I'm dead. Oh, there's my... Okay, I'm closing Facebook now. I don't think we're right. Yeah, I, I just got my I, coffee beautiful. here already. Oh. I got my soul I already. Got my coffee yet. <laughs> I got a Mountain Dew. That, that's what I got. Not, not that my Starbucks has Starbucks coffee, but it has really, really good, strong, strong coffee. Hi, Athena. Yeah. Hey, Athena. Hi, Sharon. Hey, dear. Oh wait, I can put it in art bar. Okay, so my my oh, I, yeah, I, 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 because I, I think, was told we can't post in there, so I don't put yeah, things in there. I know I know that um Spanky's putting it into the art inspiration. I'm not sure about the art bar. I got it in inspired art, my group, yep. the flock, um, Emily's group. Okay. Um, I don't have Katrine's. That's okay, Katrine put it in hers. Okay. And I can put it in Kiki's group. Oh, we're, we're oh now yes, crafting okay. Kiki. I forgot about that. Guys, we're now on YouTube. Yes, we are now on YouTube. We are now broadcasting live. I was told I could post when I'm live in the art bar, so I'm assuming this would include that. We'll see. I would. I would assume I so. Yes, because you're involved in it. No. Oh, excuse me, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, just to let you know, I went. I uh oh, what is the marina sound? Finally made it. Yeah. To the sounds end. sounds pinging. You're uh, you're, uh buffering a little bit there. Oh, yeah. You're cutting Today. it out. Hi, and Anne, actually, I you. turned your TV off. Uh, yeah, thank you another already. bottle of Mod Podge. I've been this one. I like. You're losing my sound. It's yeah. not supposed to. Okay, can you guys? It it cuts out every couple words. Yeah, and all we have is your picture now. Uh, it's it's the stupid combo. Let me try going back to without the headset. One second. I'm wondering if I should have a spanner as well, or what you call it, a wrench. 
Okay, there. I got to post it in Kiki's group um, also. It just came up on Emily's group on my phone. Who posted in Emily's? I did. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay, yeah. I am starting off by guessing, right? No, 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 no. no. You don't, no, no, no. No gesso no, yet. The gesso's not used right away. You, you leave the side. You need just Mod Podge and shipping paper. Okay. So I get the glue and the wrapping paper. Correct. And you I can see that we're completely in control here. I couldn't find my shipping paper, so I got this giant bag that I'm going to be using. Hi, Ann. Hi. It's a sea of calm. <laughs> You guys see me again now? Yes. You got brown okay, paper. You hear me okay? Because I'm using the microphone from the uh, webcam. That's yes. what I'm using. My headset oh, web. Uh, my headset microphone ain't picking up. So. Yeah, Marina, that's, that's why it's, I turned it off. Yeah. It's, it's it's going up and down again. Okay, so um, to get started, basically, I order a lot of coffee online because the place that sells it is about a two hour drive from here. Right. So, since I order big boxes, shipping paper in the box. So, this is basically what I have. And getting some of the boxes, I've got If, when eventually I can send it out. Hi, Pearl. Nice to see you. Plan was to send everything out this week, but with the car costing me an arm and a leg, all my extra money kind of went out the window. Hi, Pearl. It ended up costing me lots. So, and unfortunately, my, my car is a little bit more important. So, what I'm going to do is uh, ship the paper and down to the side when it's open. So lay it down flat with the bite. Leave about a butter and a half on each and then cut it down. Somebody has their Somebody's sound got on. their sound on. All right, so I'm cutting mine down. That's the line, Pearl. So now, this is a trick I learned when doing the smaller album. I'm just going to show you, um, just for the people that are watching, this is the book that we're going to be creating today. Um, it's a three-ring binder that I did on a plastic cover, but... And it worked beautifully, but I wanted a bigger one, so I got a, a, a paper binder. Now, um, there's a trick that I found that works really, really well, ladies. Depending on how thick your three ring binder is, because when you turn it over to Mod Podge this side, it kind of leaves um, a hard, like a really odd angle. So, what I did is I grabbed some dishes off the side. Hi, Susan. That's hey. book we have. Marina. Yeah? Can we ask whoever has their sound on YouTube one to turn it off? Oh, yeah. Ladies, whoever's got the YouTube sound on their phone to see the chat, can you turn the sound off because it's, it's uh, bouncing to us? Yeah, mute your YouTube. Yeah, mute your YouTube on your phone. It's giving too much feedback. Yeah, you don't have to listen. You're, you're hearing feedback. Yeah, you can speak on your phone. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so what I did is I took, I just have Thank some regular back. children's books. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so what I did is I took. Green, is your sound on on YouTube? Yes. 
You need to turn the sound off of YouTube and listen through my mouth. And then Katrine, just mute. If you I go into YouTube, just mute. just mute the sound. That will stop the echo. Sound off of YouTube. Two equal piles of the books. Okay, yes. Okay, that's better. Last year, oh, there you are. There you are. You're back. I, I, I'd like to see if I can get a higher sound here. Yeah. Marina went out, uh, pumped him back in. Is it Katrine's phone that's still bouncing? No, I, I don't have a sound of my computer. I, I, I don't have a sound on it. I forgot my radio. Oh, okay. Okay, it's that. I have to uh, shut it down. I don't hear the feedback no more. No, it's that. Did we lose Marina? Yeah, so. if, if somebody has, if, if somebody has the, and you're open on two dishes. The, 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 hi, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Okay. Marina. Oh, the books that I have. Kathleen, yes. Oh, I think the guy's back now. Yes. Yes, Katrine. See, my book is weird because the fold isn't where my thing is. Weird. Yes. What is the next step? Are you going to... You're going to Mod Podge your paper onto the binder. Mine's fine. Oh, yes. well, I'm doing it right because I just put my thoughts on the binder. And we are first posting the object. Thank you. We're using my podge and not glue, right? I'm using my podge, yeah. I don't have, like, I didn't mix up no glue stuff, so... Okay. I'm just using Mod Podge. I'm so going to use Mod Podge now? because my binder slick. Yeah. What are we doing now? Yeah, okay. I just used some Mod Podge. I have mixed in these from... I exactly, Kathleen. It's international crafting. We're Mod Podging the album? Yes. I'm trying to, uh, there we go. I gotta stick some just stuff on her mask. Guys, just the outside? Yes, just the outside. Oh, crap, I hope it's a gesso. Good lord. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yay. It's started to rain now. Uh, and they told us next week we are going to have snow. Lucky you. Oh, they've got snow up in Michigan already. Lucky, lucky, lucky. They can keep it up that way. I don't want snow. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Anne. Hello, Susan Baker. Hello, Pearl. Yes, hello, everybody. Sharon's in here. Sharon, yeah. hello. I don't know who Welcome. else. I'm trying to keep track of the chat. I should change my shirt so I don't get this shirt all dirty. Already thumbs up. No, that was the first thumbs up. <laughs> I clicked it when I first came to the video. If I'm confusing people, it's it's Joey on the voiceover, but without the camera. So I'm the one who's not crafting, but I'm kind of watching and just chit chatting chit away. Is chit it chat what? and craft. Craft, chat, and chill. Exactly. That's what she's Exactly, doing. Kathleen. You got it. Marina, it's on your channel, right? Yes. yes. Can you can you give me the name of your channel again? Crafting with Marina. Yeah. Okay, got it. We got Laura here. 
So I'm doing one cover at a time. So I have not a big mess. I'll probably have a big mess, but this is shit. Shoot. This is definitely different than doing it on a book cover. Yeah. And if you want it textured, you just got to kind of crinkle it up when you put the paper on. But I don't think mine's going to crinkle as much as it does on a book. But we will see. Why well, has my glue to dry before I get it all on here? I put a thick layer on mine. Definitely, it's going to take a, a thick layer, I think. Because mine's got that silver, or silver, plastic coating on it. So. Okay. Hopefully I get quite a bit done before we were off because I have a doctor's appointment today. <laughs> oh, garbage is here. All right, I think my cover one side is done. Hey, as soon as we get out the blue one, do we go ahead and stick the paper on? Yep. Yeah, I did one cover at a time. It seems that it'll be easier. Then you're not going to dry before you get your paper on. That's what I do, too, when I use when I do it on the books. So the wrinkles are good? Yes, yeah, so you want the wrinkles if you want texture. Excellent. To make yep. it look aged. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and basically what it does is when you put your, you can crinkle the paper up before you put it down, which I should have done that. I didn't think about that. Usually I'll crinkle it before I put it down. Or as you put it down, you just kind of like pinch it together to give it the crinkle. Some the shipping paper or packaging paper is thinner, so when the glue hits it, it might tear, so you just kind of got to be careful. I think Marina's just refreshed her glue. Make sure it sticks. Yeah, I got a thick layer of that on there. Hi, CF Kansas. Hey, Kansas. Oh, Kathleen, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the wrinkles is what gives it the texture. And depending on how many wrinkles you want for texture, you you can do like different types. So at this stage, does the color of the paper matter at all? No, it, um, I found that the shipping paper works better. Or like even um, you can get like brown packaging paper or like um, a roll of brown wrapping paper type that you can use. That also works. Tissue paper works too, but I've not used tissue paper because it's thinner. So it's going to give a different. Um, it'll tear like quicker than this would. So you just got to be careful if you're going to use tissue paper. Oh, my goodness. Messy, messy, messy. Pearls here. Pearls right there. So, Marina, how many of these have you done before? Ugh. Messy, messy. Is Marina there? Is Marina there? Concentrating. She's concentrating. She's not listening. <laughs> Did she not hear us? Yeah. So Kathleen says, could foil work? Um, yes, you could use foil. Hmm. That's a good question. Yep, that would actually that gives a really good texture using foil. I don't know how good the Mod Podge. Ooh, that's clumpy. I don't know how good the Mod Podge would stick with foil, so I'm not sure what glue you would use for the foil. But 
Um, yes, foil definitely would work. Oh, I don't have any wrinkles as I wanted. It looks like a really good way of upcycling all those pieces of paper that come with packaging. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, if you wrinkle the paper up before you put it down, it works a little better. So Anne says foil would work really well with alcohol inks. That's a good idea. Yes, yes, yep. The alcohol inks or anything like that, yeah. I don't have alcohol inks yet. That's on my wish list. It looks like Katrine's making progress. Yeah, 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 I got it ready. So, I have five with foil. Uh, with foil. Um, then I simply get to it before I do it. Once your once the glue dries with the paper, that's and whatnot, then that's when you'll just sew it after it's yeah. all dried. Once you get the cover done, then you're going to flip it over to do the inside. Susan says she's made her own alcohol inks. Wow. Oh, uh, did impressive. you use Sharpie markers, Susan? I have a bunch of markers, actually. I have to go get my apron. I'm getting glue on me. <laughs> I should have changed my shirt because I don't want to ruin this shirt, but I'm trying to keep it pulled up. Mm, steampunk cover using foil. That sounds really nice. Oh, yes. Most definitely. That, and that definitely would be a good steampunkish using foil. I almost want to just put this aside and dig up my book and use foil on one now. <laughs> Isn't that bad? And Pearl's been busy as well making alcohol inks with Dollar Tree markers and rubbing alcohol. Yes, Dollar Tree's got some good, uh, they have like permanent markers, um, I noticed. <laughs> From the corner. Someone's doing a tidy corner there. Who would that be? <laughs> yeah, it's like you have to put a ton of Mod Podge on it. Yeah. On my book to get it stuck. I got one side going good. I just got to redo the other side now. Yeah, I'm hoping mine sticks to this covering. Have we lost Marina's camera as well? Um, yeah, I'm up there now. Hi, guys. I gotta get, oh, there we go. My camera's upside down for me. <laughs> I gotta redo this side. Hello, Marina. <laughs> Hello, Emily. Oh. No, Marina, you just pooped out on us. We thought you were just busy going to town and, you know, forgot we were here. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear her anymore. Uh-uh. Hi, Emily. How are you, hon? Yeah, I don't see her in here anymore. I'm the... <laughs> Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Oh, hi. All right, I got that side done. I'm going to go grab my aluminum foil, and I have a book, so we're going to play on a book. No fair. I'm going to change mine. <laughs> Paper is hard. All right, can you guys hear me again now? Yes. Hey, yeah. hey. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep having technical issues with the camera cutting out. It's so, a good thing it doesn't cut us out. And I got no camera, so it's kind of a hit and miss here. Yeah, I couldn't get mine to go on my 
on my computer that I bought for this to go and and so it's like I don't even know why I bought that computer. It just doesn't work for me. All right, so you should be able to see and hear me now. Because it's telling me both items are turned on. Yeah, I see ya. Well, I'm seeing me, which I really don't want to see. <laughs> Actually, I'm not seeing you. Spanky's, I'm going to put it on. Because uh, it it's going to be on cap. Right. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Don't put it on me. I'm making a terrible mess. <laughs> I'm back with my aluminum foil. I'm putting it on everybody to have a chance. <laughs> so I'm going to dig up my book. Kathleen, I'm just speaking. I'm, I don't have a camera on this one. I got the easy ride. Hi, Angela. Hello, Angela. I want my book to look like the book in Hocus Pocus when I'm done. I'll have to check into that, uh, Susan. Hello, Amber. Hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. All right, book got uh, it. Hi, Connick. Hi, hey, Amber. Good to see you all. So we have 20 watching. It's a party. Woo -woo. How are you, Amber? How are you, Angela? Right. All right, so we're going to do the aluminum foil. Oh, it's just the right size. Oh, this is messy. So I guess I'll have to get me some alcohol links so I can finish this book. <laughs> Looks like you're all making progress. I just ripped my aluminum foil. Okay, maybe I don't want as many sprinkles in it. It is a party, Angela. You're right. Yes, it is a party. <laughs> Someone has foil. Yeah, thank you. Change the foil. <laughs> I want to try the foil too. I'm going to go get me some. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Put a snake on there and a circle for the eye because I bought a few, uh, and I have a stick on because I want to make it look like the book from Hocus Pocus. Oh, I, I love that movie. That's my favorite Halloween movie. Love Hocus Pocus. I have it on my computer. Squirrel and I watched it. Oh, Emily says it's cold today in her house. Not a good day for crafting when you're cold. Oh, I find yeah, if it's Emily. cold, it's easier to craft because then you warm up. Brag. <laughs> I have my windows open today for the first time. It's been in the 30s all week for me. Oh, I wish. You gonna come in, Alfie? Come on, baby. Angela, we've got Marina, Kathy, Spanky, Katrine, Laura, and myself, Joey. Yeah. Gosh, this is messy. For the longest time, I always thought your name was Jody. <laughs> I, I get that a lot. Said it, Jody. Well, uh, that's how it looked because your last yeah. name. So. It, except it looks like I couldn't remember how to spell my own name, doesn't it? Yeah, yep. I was <laughs> like, and Squirrel would be like, I don't think that's how you say it. And I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> nope, it wasn't. Yes, everyone's trying to make the same thing. Right, thank you for coming. So, six hand spice is here. Hello. Yes, we are making the same thing. Well, me and um, me and Laura kind of like went a different path. Yeah. After we start fighting the paper bag. Oh, gravy! I need to. But I still think the foil is going to tear. Okay, who took my scissors? Give them back. 
Oh, I got a clump. Come on, get off from that. Oh, screw it. It's on there. All right. I put a good layer of the Mod Podge down um, to for my foil, so hopefully it's <laughs> Oh, perfect size for a snake. Uh, six hand spice. I don't think it's a competition. I think it's just <laughs> kind of sparking ideas with each other. I having six a hand good spice. I don't see it as a competition, just as we are. Oh no, it's just us getting together and crafting. Yeah, just having a yeah. good time. Yep. It's just learning a new technique for me. Yeah. Trust me, I'm not good. I couldn't be in competition. <laughs> right? Not with this mess. I think yeah, well you done. can call it international crafting time together. Hey. I'm not quite sure how to dry my foil on here because, you know, if I use the heat gun, that's just going to make that foil hot, so... I just gonna... want you all to know my brother had to cover my books on school because I could never do that either. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So you're about to see why. <laughs> this is a royal mess. I really like the idea of you using the foil. It looks really good. Yeah, hopefully. I, I have some stains or something I think I might be able to use. I don't know. Well, hello, Emma. Emma's Hi, Emma. Here. Nice to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome I'm to the party. I have leather that looks just like the leather from the book. The spell book from um, Hocus Pocus. Oh, God. How yeah. Cool. And um, I came across an eyeball that looks just like it. So, oh, thank you. Yeah. You bought some eyeballs at uh, the dollar store yesterday, and I said, oh, man, I'm going to make the book. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Eyeball. And then um, I'm going to use clay and make the eyelid and stop in. Um, Squirrel and I were talking. I found a way that I could actually make it to where the eyeball will go up and down. So, well, not the eyeball, but the eyelid will retract back and come back down. So that'll be cool. Yeah. Is, so once we have the paper on, do we start painting? No, we got to do what gesso. Yeah, you got to add the gesso. Come on, stick on there. That's looking very tidy. Is Marina still here? I see her picture. But I don't hear her. I think we're struggling with sound. Oh. It looks like the foil ones are easier to make a tidy corner compared with the paper ones. Yeah. Hopefully it just sticks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why I was wondering, how easy would it be to stick? Yeah, well, we're fixing to find out. It rips too easy, though. That's the only thing. Yeah, that's what I was The foil rips really easy. What if you put it over the paper? I put a paper on top of it. Um, another piece of the oh. paper. I wonder if... um. Tissue paper would work better over the full paper, stick better. And not get well, no, I'm sure. Oh, full. yeah, tissue paper would, yeah, that would probably work too. After I get this on, I could go grab, I found my tissue paper, so I'll, I'll try that. Oh, I got the hiccups. So Anne says if you wet that paper, it will lay easier. And she covered yeah. the inside of an airstream using wet paper. Yeah. Uh, I want to do flooring. When we move, I want to do my flooring in uh, paper bags. I want to cut them into strips and then um, use some stain and make them look like uh, different colors of wood. And 
use that to for my flooring. Great tip, Anne. Absolutely, Kathleen. Okay, well, I got the snake on. I just got to let it dry. Do, doing well there, uh, Laura. I hope it works. Pearl, Pearl says you use Christmas napkin over the foil. Holiday yep. journal, yes. Ooh, I don't know if I got any Christmas napkins. I'm going to have to go look. Or paper towels, Emily says. Sounds like you've done that, oh, Emily. Oh, yes, paper towels. With yeah, paper. I've done paper towels. Paper towel gives a nice texture. And when you Mod Podge paper towels, it gets really stiff. Marina has the gremlins, so she's having technical issues. This paper sucks. Hello, Abriel. Oh, yeah, the, the paper towel sticks really good. All right, here's my foil. Yeah, I like so it. shiny. <laughs> Well, we have 25, 24 people, according to my screen. Wow. Hi, everyone. Don't forget the thumbs up, everyone. Give Marina some support here. Result on the foil. Yeah, definitely results on the foil. Now, if it stays, that'll that's the trick, is if it'll stay. That's right, Susan. It's a wow. Good result. Paper towel makes it hold on good. Oh, yeah. That Right. You are more than the brown paper. Yeah. Emma, so we obviously have Marina and we have Katrine in one of those pictures somewhere. Oh, um, I do have shoe polish. Yep. And That's Frankie. Thing, Kathleen. Yeah, Katrine's here. She's down there somewhere. There we go. We got Katrine here. Yes. <laughs> She's there. <laughs> Good idea, Emily. It works. And there's, uh, that's Kathy there. Is Katrina yes. drying at the moment, or is that Laura? Katrina is the third block from the left. Yes, I, I have the black ones. She's the one with the bat now. Actually, I think it's the first time I wear black in one of my live stream. Oh, so we can't see you. <laughs> you blend in with the shadow. <laughs> no, it, it's because I do have uh, like a Tintin. Yeah. It's a very, I can show you here, hopefully. Um, on my chest here, I got um, it, it's a reward shirt. Oh, nice. Uh, if you can see it. Oh, yeah, so, yep, I see that. Oh, that's cute. So, did I get the camera so it can be right? Um, that's a good point Kathleen Kathleen says foil won't stretch so I guess it's more at risk of tearing perhaps yeah I had a little tear in mine um, and I went to pull it over on the side but I can't even find it now so huh so this has to dry a little bit I'm going to stick it up on these Look how shiny that is. I'm gonna go see if I got some Christmas napkins. I'll be right back, ladies. Okay, ladies, if you want to mute me, you can. I am going to dry this. I don't know how long this is going to be. So Emily says, don't worry if it tears, because there are no mistakes in crafting. That is so true, Emily. 
Um, I made a journal the other day and I forgot to give it a spine. Um, I just folded the cardstock over. It looks okay in the end, but you're right. You just have to go with the flow, don't you? Whatever happens, just build it into what you're doing. It's painful handed anyway. The hair, the hair dryers are on. Emily says she does it all the time. Me too. I do have a few Christmas napkins that I got from Judy when we were down visiting Mary. Let's see here. Got this one. Mm, pretty. There's that one. I like this one. I don't know if I have two of that one, though. We have this one. I have to build up the circle where the eye is going to be. Oh, I think I'm going to use this one. Oh, that one's so cute. That's a very rich color. It's a I roof, think I'm going to use this one. The Christmas bulbs. Oh, wait. Then mm. I got this one. This one's cute, too. I like that. That's that's more Nordic, I think, to look at, Spanky. Those it's bulbs? Very pretty. The yeah. Christmas bulbs one? Yeah. I've got two of that one, so I could do that. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. I like that one. Emma says she's having trouble following it, following everybody. Basically, Emma, there is... Um, a collection of us, excluding me, putting backing onto the folders, onto the ring binders. And I think Marina and Spanky are probably helping us understand what we need to do. Yeah. Uh, the, the concept is to get a textured background on either a book cover or binder cover. And you can see the textures and Depending on how much you crumble your paper up to what texture you'll get. So I used foil because somebody suggested foil. So that's what I did. And here's the eyeball that I'm going to put in. I'm going to measure it so that it will fit on there. I wonder if this napkin is three ply. It looks like it's three ply. Oh, thank you, Emma. Yeah, Judy, um, when we went to Missouri and seen Miss Mary Forrester, Judy came there and she gave us a gift bag full of different things and I had a bunch of napkins in one. All right, let's see if this is two-ply or one-ply. Spanky. Yes, ma'am. Once we have the cover on, do we then gesso it before we paint it? Yes, you want to gesso it first. Okay. That's what... um. That's what I did on both of my covers. This is gesso, black gesso. And then also this is black gesso. And all I did was add, um, I took a cut up sponge and dipped it in a little bit of my metallic silver paint and just lightly went over it. And that's how I got the look on that. Oh, well, that's going to look good. Yeah. So Emma says she's used paper to do it a few times. And Mary Brewer has joined us. Hello, Hi, Mary. Mary Brewer. Hey, Mary. Hi. I thought I seen somebody come in. Hi, April. That's who it was. I'm echoing the hmm. thing again. This is hard. All right, so this napkin was three ply. So I had to pull two two backings off it. Some napkins are only one ply. But this, one's, one, this, one's, this one had this two. One has two. A trick with it. If you take it with the thing and stick it on the back. You'll be able to pull the, the piece apart. Like that. It's a little easier. I think somebody might have their YouTube channel open. Oh. We're getting Mine's an echo muted. again. This is almost big enough to cover the whole thing, but I think I'm going to do half and half. Yeah. 
that's gonna work. That's cute. I don't know how good this is gonna show up under the foil. That's not right. I kind of want to put it on one of the other books since those are already done. That foil's gonna take a bit to dry. Is anyone in the chat also crafting? What are you guys up to? Since I have this black one here, I'm just going to go ahead and add the napkins onto that one because my foil is going to take too long to dry. Oh, Angela's working on a junk journal. That sounds interesting. And Mary just, Mary woke, just up. woke up. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> well, good morning, Mary. Emily's going into her craft room. And Anne is work craft room. Hi, Mary. Did Marina, did uh, Marina make it back in? All right, can you guys yeah, hear I me? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Pearl says she's working on her next weekly vlog for her YouTube channel. I like Pearl's vlogs. Or vlogs, I guess you would call it. <laughs> I'm going to do the foil down with a tacky glue before I put the uh, tissue paper on it. Oh, that's a good idea using the tacky glue. That way, well, slide on me. So hopefully, I can get this napkin down. I bought a new tacky glue. It's called Turbo Tacky Glue. I have that one. Is it good? Yeah. Because my other one is almost out. Phew. We're gonna try the turbo. All right, I don't want to tear my napkin, so I am pressing. I got my hand in a baggie, and I'm going to press down my napkin onto the Mod Podge. It worked. No, that looks very fun. straight there, Spanky. So that looks good. Does it look straight? <laughs> I think I wasn't even I think... really paying attention. <laughs> straight I enough from where I was. Yeah. I tried to line it up. There might be enough I can actually wrap it around on the inside, hopefully, but. I don't think I'll have enough of the sides. And I can always put something over the spine. Do you have plans for what you'll do with the finished item, anybody? I'll probably put mine in my auction. I'm going to put my my dies and um, stamps in it. I need a book for that. <laughs> That's a good idea. I don't know if it, if it comes out really good, and maybe I'll give it as a gift or something, but this is my first time doing this. I'm not too sure how it's going to come out. <laughs> I'm going to make mine like a Halloween. Oh, that'd be cute. Um, and I am going to make it and I think I, I'm going to like, uh, make it like an infirmia pockets into it, so... I can store it, I have a bean stuff into it. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna put stencils in mine. You probably have to make about five more. Yes, Angelo, it's Katrine. You're absolutely right. Well, here's the trick. See if I can line it up properly. And Mary says she would store her ATCs in it. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I lined it up good. Oh, I'm loving this. Hey, Angela! <laughs> loving it. Bye, six hands.
I'm going today to Hobby Lobby to pick up another pack of that paper. It's gonna be. Depending how it comes out today, I might take it to my crafter tonight and show them. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Um, I co-host it with another person. All right. Can you, can you guys hear it? Hear it? See me? You're breaking up. Yeah, you're breaking up a little bit. And but you're there. To the craft, so uh, I'll enjoy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Mary says she's still grounded from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> oh, no, Mary. Why, why did you get grounded from Hobby Lobby? Do I want to know? <laughs> okay. Let that dry. I'm gonna mute my mic while I um oh my lamp just fell over. No wonder that was weird. Okay. I gotta mute my mic while I use my heat gun, I think. Just give me a second here. So, Katrine, is that paint you're putting on? What are you putting on there? No, uh, gesso. Uh, I am just coloring my gesso in different colors. Uh, because I think for decoupage, uh, I like it, you know, sort of, uh, I like bright yellow into the napkin, and so that's why I choose yellow, because sometimes, uh, I'm I'm losing control a bit. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Can you guys hear and see me? Okay. I've no. Perfect. I am not going to touch my laptop anymore. Yeah, you, you're losing. You're driving me nuts. Yes, Emma. It, All right. It was breaking so, up so I don't know how far you guys have gotten, but I've got my cover on, and I'm now yeah. putting a layer. I find that it messes up worse on laptops. I don't know why, but it does on mine. And, and I am on my phone today just to say something. <laughs> yeah, I've got to rearrange this room so that it's going to my actual. Uh, Computer and not my laptop anymore. Yeah, I had to. I have to go and hang out on my desktop. I can't use the laptop or my phone. Okay, I'm back. Well, I yeah. tried phone and it wouldn't work. I don't like no. using my laptop. It wouldn't I work too. And I got that was my. Was that's what I was gonna do. A switch to phone. I'm gonna have to figure out something for it. But if I put it on my, if I put it on my phone, I'm not going to control it. it will be on my right. So Spanky, when you put on the gesso, is it a light coat or a heavy coat, or what is it? Um, I put it on. Usually, I do two coats. Because that way, in case I missed any little pieces inside the um, the creases and such. So usually I do two coats just to make sure I got a good layer. Okay. But I usually use it the black gesso. Yeah, I have some of that. I have all, I have clear white and um, 
black. Right. Yeah, I've always just used the black gesso. I usually end up doing two coats just to give it a good section. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to trim off the red parts because I can use those on another piece because I'll cover the inside with some cardstock. I think Katrine's busy drying off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I the camera on a good angle so you can see what I'm doing. Actually. I'm wondering if when we what? use our dryer, it might be good to mute. I don't know if that helps people. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I'm seeing it dries too. The paper is the paper coat. The, what was that, Kathy? As it's drying, the paper is soaking up my first coat of gesso. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. See, I always um, let my paper dry first before I would paint my gesso on. Just because I didn't want to re wet, have that glue so wet that it would tear my paper. So. Very tidy cutting from Frankie. Thank you. A gold medal for tidy cutting. <laughs> I, I don't want to mess it up. I only got two of those napkins. I don't want to tear it, so I got to be careful on this part. Mm. There's always a risk at the pointy corner, isn't there? That it goes yeah. Through. I'm just going to pull it down over. over. Oh, it rip. Uh -huh. So are these the sort of projects that need a good overnight dry to really let them set? Uh, yeah, I think so, depending on which paper you use. It doesn't take long with a napkin, but I always let mine dry a day before I start doing everything else. Right. Before you chesley, you let it dry a whole day? Yeah. Just because... In, when you got your creases and stuff, your folds, sometimes there'll still be wet gesso in there. Or not gesso, wet Mod Podge or glue, whatever. Uh -huh. So I just like to make sure everything's good and dry before I do the next step. But that's just my preference. Like everybody has their own, you know, way of doing stuff. So. Just thank you. Do you just want to tell us the key ingredients again, just for me? Um, All right. If I'm using a book. I usually use books. So you'll need a book, Mod Podge, uh, a blade, like a craft knife or exacto knife or something, a paintbrush, shipping paper, or like a, I use a thin brown paper bag, like a sack type bag from a gift store. And then you're going to de-gut your book by basically cutting the pages out. And then once you cut your pages out, you'll pull back that extra stuff from that sits back on the spine because you don't want that all glooped up in there. And once you do that, then you'll crinkle up your paper. If you remember that step, I didn't. <laughs> but you'll crinkle up your paper and then you'll Cover the, I start one cover at a time and like I'll do the front, the one side of the cover, then I do the spine and then I do the other cover. Um, I don't do it all at once because sometimes your glue will dry too fast before you get to the other one. So that's usually what I do. And then I just work my way around once the, once the outside cover, I let that dry overnight before I do my edges. That way I don't take a chance in tearing on my corners or anything to that. And then once that dries, usually I'll let the, the inside cover set for a couple hours before I, because that's not got a lot of glue on it. The, when you, once you fold these up under, that won't have a lot of glue on it. So I do that. And then once 
buy after a couple hours of the, the inside cover drying, then I'll take my gesso and gesso the outside cover. And I, I don't use my heat gun to dry that. I let it air dry most of the time. And then if there's still a few wet spots, then I'll use my heat gun. But usually I'll just let it air dry because sometimes if you heat up the glue, it can peel back up. Right. And then you just... Um, on this cover here, I'll show you how I I just take my sponge with my metallic paint and just lightly go over it. Kind of like your shoe, you know, polishing a shoe basically. But, I mean, this cover was black like this, so it, it definitely makes it different. I love the effect. I want to use some, um, I have pink rose-colored metallic paint I want to try. So that's what I'm going to use on that one. So this might be the kind of project where you do some of this and then you also have another project running in parallel, give it time to dry. So Yep, usually I have, like when I made these covers, I had three of them going at the same time. So I would start one and then I would, you know, I would have three of them going. So I always had something to work on. Do you, do you guys in the chat have more than one thing going at once? Or are you super disciplined and just start one thing and finish it? I get to, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I have to have more than one thing because I'll get bored with one thing if I'm doing it too much. I always have to have something else to work on so I don't get bored. Oh, one of my hairs is in there. I glued a piece of hair in there. Yeah, I, I like to have a couple extra too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so. Because sometimes, I, I mean, when you are making something, I feel that sometimes you are sort of stuck into it. Yep. And, and then, then the best thing you can do is just put it aside and start another project. My thing, I don't want to get burned out on it. So I always try to have something else I'm doing so I don't get yeah. burned out. Emily says she has four things going right now, and Anne has lots of stuff at the same time. And Kathleen's making glue dangles. I have 20 tassels I started, and I got seven journals going. <laughs> so, definitely busy. Mary says she's going to start a Christmas card series on her channel. That sounds very nice. Oh, that'll be nice, Mary. Yeah. I have a... I was last night, um, I was thinking of uh, something I wanted to do for the group. And it actually, I didn't even tell Matt. I was thinking about it last night and I'm surprised I remembered it. But um, I'm going to make a, a journal. It's going to be a swap for 12 days of Christmas, like the, or, you know, the partridge and a pear tree song on the 12th day of Christmas song. That's cool. I want to do a journal with each one of those in it. My own concept of like a partridge and a pear tree and, you know, the five hens lane or whatever, five gold rings and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. That'll be for my Christmas swap. I'm trying to start a Christmas Eve vintage. Mm. See, I'm not much into holidays, so doing holiday stuff just isn't like something I'm, I always do. It's out of my comfort zone. So, You're all but one side done. Don't we love this technology allowing yeah. us to link up like this? I think it's amazing. I love like when. when Hi, Nicole. When um, Mary and I sat on Facebook one night just chatting away on video chat, and I was like, I'm going to craft. And then we sat there for like two and a half hours. It was so much fun with having somebody there. There, but not there, if you know what I mean. I like the chat with other people. So this is really fun. We're going to have to do this once a month. <laughs> we should. Sounds like fun. How are you doing, Laura? Uh, I don't know if you guys are on, but I'm starting to put the black gesso on. And 
And I think afterwards, after I get the gesso, I think I might do some like brown stains on it to get it to look like that book. Ooh, oh, that would be nice. That's great. Hello, Woody Bitty. How are you? And black gesso Hi, Nicole. Not looking like uh, old age now. Yeah. Hi, Eddie Diddy. Hello, Alison. Hello, Alison. Gary, that made me freak out about it. It's easier if you do it on Hangouts first, though, really. Everybody, Alison is my best friend in the world. I had one corner that tore, but I'm putting book. I'm gonna. I got book corners. I'm gonna put book corners on this because this turned out really cute. Mary, I'm, I'm gonna... cheat. I'm cheating on the stream because I've just got a voice. I'm not even doing any crafting, <laughs> so maybe maybe that's the role to play to begin with. I'm gonna mute my mic because I'm gonna use my heat gun. So I'm gonna mute the mic. Allison, you need a picture. You want more of one of a turtle? Hello, you brought wonder. Thank you for coming. Those who joined recently, basically, we have a group of people here having a lot of fun putting some really interesting textures onto three ring binders um, and just going through the process to get together, drying them off, doing things in different colours. Just having fun. And it sounds like everyone's concentrating. Kathleen says, did the foil work? I think that was behind Spanky's Christmassy napkins. Maybe we'll take a look in a minute, Kathleen. Oh, I thought she put it on a different book. Ah. I heard you. So yes, the foil worked. Yeah, it worked on mine. Yeah, I'm just. I set it. I set it aside to dry because I didn't want it because it's still damp under there. Yeah, mine was on there. But yeah, I didn't want to take a chance of it not adhering properly. So yes, I the foil turned out really good. So I'm gonna make some alcohol inks, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make a steampunk journal for squirrel. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think now, if uh, Marina shuts down her computer, won't we get knocked off of YouTube and hang out? Um oh. I don't I don't know. Is that gonna boot us Marina? Um I Allison, guess. everybody's gonna use it for different things. I'm gonna use mine to store stencils, some of them are use it for journal covers. Thank you, you wrong. Mm -hmm. You what? I was Allison. Is what everybody was going to use it for? Oh my! This I'm going to make a, a Christmas journal. Oh wait, who's already painting? Gravy. <laughs> I'm way behind. Uh, I don't. I don't journal, so mine will. Uh, I'm put up for sale and stuff. Right, I need my mic to draw some more. Okay. Looking good over there, Laura. Thank you. Too, Thank you, Kathy. There's a in the hole where the eye is going to go at. Good progress, generally, all round. You're doing good over there, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's looking good. I got to mute my mic again so I can finish drying this. Very international. Good fun. Exactly, itty bitty. Fun projects. I 
and as you can see, I'm I'm started to put my napkin on, and I'm using um, my acrylic varnish. So I don't know if you can actually see it. Um, if you hold it I'm a tiny bit closer, Katrine, I think we can see some of it. Did it help you? Oh, you guys, how do we put the um, video on another person? Angie, welcome. Thanks, Itty Bitty Angie. Does Marina have to do that? Put the video on somebody else? I don't know. It's my first time on Hangout. Me too. <laughs> cool. I have never tried it before. <laughs> but it's very cool. I mean, very international. Yeah, it, it allows you to be able to craft with your friends that are sleeping usually when you're crafting. Exactly, yes. It's probably pretty late there, isn't it, Katrine? It is actually about uh, seven o'clock in Denmark now. Ah, yeah, that's not Evening. too bad. We we are. It's not so bad. Um, normally, it is when I go live. Uh, it is midnight to sort of stay hang out with you girls because. You know, I know you have uh, families and chores that has to be done.